Gerbigly! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly. I'm once again playing the game The Crooked Man, and I know that it's been a while, I'm very, very sorry for that. Uh, obviously I have 800 games that I'm juggling on the channel, so... Guys, kinda have to get used to it, cause I am! <laughs> anyway, so last episode we came face to face with the Crooked Man again and we decided to 300 kick him, this is Sparta kick him into a pit, which was awesome, and then uh, we met up with Sissy and we decided to split up again because we're freaking idiots. So uh, we came into the bar because we heard a noise and there's this creepy uh, message here on the ground, I don't know what it's going to say, but it's in blood, so it's got to be creepy. So let's go ahead and get started. A message in red? Was this here before? Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Come to me, I'm waiting for you. That's not... Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? I don't know. Oh! Oh, right off the bat, really? Oh, no, for real? What? Why? I don't know, dude. I dropped you down a pit. Crap, I gotta do something. Yeah, not get killed by... Ah! Ah! Why are you so creepy? Oh, I'll be caught if I go in there? Yeah, no, 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 no. Was I not fast enough? That, right off the bat, really? Are you freaking kidding me? My new haircut doesn't give me any new courage, by the way. It makes me actually have less because I look like I'm 12. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave him alone. What do we do here? Is it a weapon? Do we have to use the... Smash him with a bottle, maybe? Oh, no. Scary roaring noise. Now I'm not afraid of you. Why? I dropped you down a pit. Okay. What about this? Damn it, the monster can't give up some of this. Smackadoo. Oh, cool, it is a cutscene. Oh, smack. Okay, ugh, I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? How about empty beer bottles? Ugh! Why do you move so quick? It's creeping me out, man. Okay. So, what about these? Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Is there something in my inventory that I can use? I'm gonna keep, I keep dying over and over again. This sucks. Good thing the load times are are pretty quick. Is there anything in my inventory? Notebook scrap, notebook scrap, paper scrap, notebook scrap, lighter, leaf school leaflet. What are these, by the way? Are these ketchup bottles? A few wine bottles. They seem to be very full. Brandy. It's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drink this. Oh. Do we light them on fire? Let's, let's give it a try. Sorry, guys, I got the burpees all of a sudden. Message in blah, blah, be blah, be blah. Okay, so... Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? This is me trying to use my brain, by the way. I hope that I don't have to, like, hit him with brandy and then hit him with, like, vodka and Molotov cocktail him or something. All right. Monster doesn't give... Oh, crap. Uh, should I use the lighter on it first and then actually Molotov cocktail them? Smackadoo! Right in your face. Okay. Lighter? Aha! Now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be plenty flammable. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, just stand there. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that noise was that I made, but I made it. You guys were there for that. You were a part of it. Um, <laughs> wow, that worked. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> seriously, holy crap. Most of the puzzles in this I've been figuring out pretty quick. Well, except for like a couple episodes ago. We'll forget about that one, though. Anyway, he ran away. Whew. Um... What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? It's been lit on fire and dropped on a pit. It's obviously supernatural, dude. And not to mention it's next kind of at a like 180 degree angle. Um, I might need something to defend myself. Now, where could I look? Ooh, I bet we ha can go back to the kitchen and get that cool knife. Um, now, oh God, I'm gonna get killed, aren't I? By wandering the halls. Uh, what was it that I was gonna say? Something, something. Oh, yeah, you guys might have noticed that this one has a new thumbnail. Thumbnail is made by the same person who made my... Is this the kitchen? Yeah, it is. Um, who made... Ah, God, dick! Why would you do that? 
Fly knife, why? It, by the same person who, his name's not God Dick, by the way, um, but his name is Padkiller89, uh, also known as Patrick Downting. He made my intro as well, and he made this fantastic, amazing thumbnail that I forgot to use last episode. I've had it for a while now, but it's finally up. So uh, thank you so much, Patrick. It's really, really kick ass. Thank you for doing that. Um, if you guys ever have thumbnail art that you want to submit to me, uh, feel free to do so on my Twitter or DVD art or Tumblr or anything that you guys want to do. Um, it's always appreciated. I'll try to incorporate it when I can into a thumbnail if it's, you know, the right format and everything. If it's colored and cool looking, you know, cool stuff. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. The support's awesome. Anyway, uh, now that I've gotten my wits back about me after the creepy fruit knife, which scared me more than the monster, uh, <laughs> a fruit knife. Maybe I should take it just for self-defense. Got a knife. I sure did. Now let's save again, because we are terrified of everything. Uh, can I equip this? Like, have it out, like, stabby? No, I can't. It's a small fruit knife. It's not even a big fruit knife. Uh, oh, God, why? B blood? This wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? I better look for her. This isn't good. Oh, dongles. Oh, dicks. Dicks on sticks. There's going to be a loud noise. It's going to hurt my head and make me cry inside. I know it. Oh, shit. Yes! I'm scared. I'm always so scared of these games. These games have some of the best atmosphere in any games ever. Because they are just... Yeah, I mean, you have to concentrate on the atmosphere more than the graphics. Oh, sissy? Hi? Hello? Are you okay? Sissy, what are you doing here? Your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? Well, obviously if her arm's bleeding, dude. My arm caught in something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you have ane or anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Uh, that is a lot of blood, sissy. You might want to get, like, a bandage on it. Maybe, uh... Some gauze, maybe go to a hospital? That might be better. Hospital might be better. The hotel's still gonna be here when you get back. Uh, give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. Oh, yeah. Aw, how sweet. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. Why does she look so sad? She's probably just out of it from the fact that she just bled out half her body. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A, mem a memento from your boyfriend? Wow, I can't even speak because I am very creeped out by blood and I, I don't know I don't know what David's doing he can't read though he definitely can't and it's totally not my fault um <laughs> well he's my ex to be exact huh oh now we're gonna get some backstory on sissy he left me quite a while ago but while we were dating this hotel was our special place hey that sounds like uh Silent Hill again she uh, that, that note that he got earlier in the game it referred to this place as the special place that was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up he said it was all I had, and he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Oh, don't say that, sissy. You're great. You know, you have the sensibilities of a Scooby-Doo kid, and you get cut, and you're very accident-prone, and you're wandering a dark hotel, but yeah, you're an idiot. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. I found a key to somewhere. Oh, that's very specific. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Where are we going? 
going to save, first of all. That's what we're going to do. Somewhere key. Oh, good. So I'm going to try this on every single damn door. Looks like the bathroom. Not to the bathroom. Why? Why are you paused? Why are you always like this, David? Who's saying this? Like? Like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Oh, it was his ex. Okay. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Sorry, guys, I have the burps and I keep, like, swallowing. There we go, I think I got it out. Wait, we can talk this out. Shirley! Don't call me Shirley, Shirley. <laughs> Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. I wonder. Oh, I wonder, wonder. Oh, ooh, ooh. Who wrote the book of love? Man, Sissy, your blood gets in the way of everything. I can't even walk. You can't walk over it? Is David like... Oh, wait. I should have tried all these doors. What am I doing? Hello? Oh. Is this it? No. That's... Oh, that's an old room. Is that it? Keyhole? Okay. All right. So, it's none of those doors. God, I got the goosebumps just exploring this stupid hotel. It's so creepy to me. What does the, goose... the, the guest book say? The guest book says you save too much because you're a big wimp. Oh! 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 Okay. Um, something's in the fountain. What'd I get? Oh, it's her box! Ah, a box! Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. Oh! It must be! It's decorated with rubies! Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll give this a Sissy Prano. Got Sissy's box. Let's save again because we're going to get chased again at some point. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm so scared. I don't want to die. I'm so scared. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm scared. Ugh. Okay. Good. Oh, God damn it. She's gone. <sighs> of course she is. Huh? Did Sissy leave? But she's wounded. Shit. Oh! Sissy? Oh, shit. Oh, now we definitely have to save. Oh, we're going to die. Oh, uh, Sissy? Sissy? Sissy, where are you? It's not funny. Sissy? S uh, Sissy? Oh, god damn it. Son of a biscuit bobulator. Uh, uh. Yeah, dude. I don't know what to do here. No, no stay away. Oh, yeah. Freaking Sparta kick him in the face. Stop right there. David's kind of a badass. Back off, monster. David! Uh, oh, but we gotta run. We gotta go. Sissy, we gotta stop. Just kick him again. Just keep kicking him over and over again. Damn it. Sissy, get out of the hotel. D David, what about you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Yeah, you will with your fruit knife, which is like this big. <laughs> hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't lay a finger on Sissy. Um, oh. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll save. I will definitely save, if you're asking me to save. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, cool. Oh, it's, oh, it's Zelda now. Hi, buddy. Can I... Ah! You can walk across the couches? You bastard. Oh, yeah! Did I smack him? Oh god. Stop! Stop being weird! I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay. I just gotta wait till he does this fast thing, and then I whack him. Okay, or not. Do your fast walk. Yeah! Right in your freaking face. You freak. Oh, yeah! When are you gonna die? Oh, yeah! We are super good at this. Oh, oh, oh you're creepy. 
Okay, do your fast walk. Yep. Oh, God! Don't hit me! Oh, shit. Oh, I just noticed that I have a life bar on the bottom. 80 of... of ten. Oh, he kills you in five hits? Dude, I've hit him way more than five times. This sucks. This is super unfair. Oh, don't... Don't touch me. Ew. 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 You're gross. Ew. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm gonna die. Actually, this isn't that bad of a fight. I'm okay with this. I'm okay... I like that the knife makes a punching noise for some reason. Why Why is that? Look at his head. You make the sprite go down. <laughs> his head's like, eh. Because he's the crooked man. Okay, it's not that funny. That's kind of the whole point of his character. I'm just talking because I'm scared I'm going to die. Ha! <laughs> right in your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, don't get stuck on the goddamn sign, you idiot. Oh, man, now I only have 40 health. I'm going to die in one hit then? What happened? Is it like the more damage I do, like the stronger he gets, like the like bosses in NES games, they start like glowing red and they get like way freaking stronger. I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, you dick! Wait, did I kill him or did he kill me? <gasps> did I I killed him? Yes! Oh, we're so good. David. I'm gonna like limp out. Oh yeah! Yeah, man, can you imagine dying by fruit knife? Like, getting stabbed by a knife that big? You gotta get stabbed, like, a billion times to die from that. Take that, cro I guess he's, like, an evil crooked man, so kind of deserves it. David! <sighs> <sighs> David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. Never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt, but... But the cro- oh, uh oh Sissy? What's wrong? Are you sick? Obviously, the Crooked Man's gonna come back. He's the main antagonist, and we've killed him twice already before this, so, you know. Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through with this? Why did a monster attack me? I... I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? Sissy? No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help! Sissy, are you having a, like an existential crisis right now? Sissy. Oh! Please don't cry. What's wrong with being a wimp? I want to be motivational. Because this is like what I do. You know, like when someone's like beating themselves up. It's better, to, to me, it's better to be, you know, say something nice. Like, what's wrong with being a wimp? That's not that bad. And then you're also kind of motivational. You're like, you know, grab, grab that part of you. Huh? You may feel like a sissy for... Because <laughs> her name's Sissy. You got it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> for not being able to forget him, but... Is that such a bad thing? David? Did I say the wrong thing? I was dumped a few year months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Hey, they're so similar. They're totally gonna hook up. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think, maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. Uh-oh. This is actually terrible advice, David. Don't fixate on someone who... Don't fixate on... The... Don't. If they don't want you in their life, it's a toxic situation. You don't want to... That's being selfish is to force yourself on them. At least that's my opinion of it. I don't know. People out there might have other beliefs, but that's just... That's me talking. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. I hope I picked the right thing there. David. She doesn't seem pissed off or anything. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. Aw, we just met in this creepy hotel, but we're already best friends. Thank you, David. I guess, like, life and death situations do that to people, though. <laughs> I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Thanks, sissy. That's super nice. <laughs> hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key? Haha. <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, uh, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What? Really? Excuse, 
excuse me guys, I still got the burps. Holy crap, you guys give me the burpees every time. <laughs> wow, really? I picked it up, around here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box? Oh, yeah, it does. You got the special key for her box. <laughs> so the former tenant's involved with the box? What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. It's a long scene. I, we are going a little bit over time, guys. I'm sorry about that. But Although you guys did say you wanted longer episodes of this, so... Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I... I thought so. It matches the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, let's get going. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, so, David. Well... How come neither of them are more freaked out by the fact they just got attacked by a monster? I, I know David was like, oh, don't worry, they're... Ah! Oh, God, it scared the crap out of me. But it was her running up to give him a kiss. That's so cute. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. That, <laughs> that was the biggest jump scare. I thought that was going to be the crooked man freaking stabbing my face. That surprised me. <laughs> yeah, it surprised me too, David. Holy shit. But she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Till I see him, I'll go anywhere. What I was trying to say is, they should, even though David's like, haha, he won't be chasing us anymore, like, I'd be pretty freaked out, and I'd want to stick together and, like, get the hell out of that place. I don't know, that's just me. Can I please save soon? I don't need to save. Scene one, Hotel Ruinheim. Sissy, end. Cool, okay, yay, so save point. Go ahead and we'll save. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, that was pretty fun. It was awesome. We made a lot of progress. I just banged my shin on something under my desk and it hurt a lot. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really like this game a lot. I hope that you guys are enjoying it because I plan on doing a lot more of it uh, very, very soon. Um, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye. Now this thing, if we can get to it without dying, boom! That makes, look at that, that is awesome. Those those things explode and uh, they basically allow you to uncover way more of the map all at once as long as these stupid guys with their stupid eraser butts don't erase all your stuff. So, oh God, crap. <laughs>